Hi everyone, my name is Linda Chow and I am a data analytics consultant at PH Data. In a previous video tutorial, I walked through on how you can create multiple select parameters, as you can see here. And what this really does is just offers a lot more flexibility when it comes to dashboard um, parameter functionality and design. However, you know, one of the drawbacks to this is say if you had a longer list of parameters to choose from, it can be a bit cumbersome to select through all of them if you wanted to view all of the parameters um, at the same time. So a workaround that we can do to that is to include an all option. So in our second dashboard example here, my map is currently showing profit for trails and copiers. But say I wanted to view all of these categories. It could be, you know, a bit annoying to have to go to each one and click, click, click. Did it click? All right, it's making its way there. Um, so a way to, we can do to alleviate that issue is to create an all button. So when I click all, now all of our categories are reflected within um, profits for our map. And this is made possible by adding a second sheet um, onto our dashboard that, spe that is specifically just for the all button. The process of creating, you know, our parameter, multiple parameter selection list is the same as um, how I went through before in my tutorial on that, but I'm just going to walk through it again as I build this out and show you how you can add this all button to your dashboard. With that, let's get started. So of course, um, as usual, the first thing that we want to start off with is creating the data visualization that we will be applying our parameter to. In this case, I just created a map using the sample super stored data that shows um, the profit by state. Once you've created the data viz that you plan to use, the next step is to create our parameter. And since I am referring to subcategory um, within this data, I'm going to call my parameter subcat parameter. And then make sure to change the data type to string. Current value, let's put all. And then allowable values, we'll keep it onto all. And click OK. Now that we have our parameter created, the next step that we're going to do is to create a series of calcs that we will be applying to our sheets. So this first calc, I'm going to call it my subcot true false. So um, this will be very similar to the calculation we created in the multiple parameter tutorial, but it will also now include an additional statement in it that accounts for the all function as well. So it's subcat parameter and subcategory. And then the new addition to this statement is adding an or subcat parameter equals all. With that, let's click OK. The next calculation we need to create will be our subcategory parameter action that will be applied on our dashboard later. So I'm going to call this subcat param action. And calc for this. Oh, not that. Um, so this will be the calculation for that. This time, as you can see, what's new is that we wrap it with in a replace statement and then include all here. Once we have um, our calculation ready, let's click OK. And then, of course, the last two statements that we need to create are our true and false statements. All right, now that we have our true and false statements, we can go ahead and go into creating our list of um, parameter selections. So I'm going to call this uh, subcat list. Let's find our subcategory, bring it onto rows, and then drag it onto text marks. And then we're going to drag those newly calculated fields we made onto the details mark. Well, subcat perm actually into details and subcat true false will go into the color again because that will show us what is being selected or not. Um, and subcat parameter as well as our true and false statements. So we have that on there. We can go ahead and now format our list. Or not, there is zero. Pull this out a little bit so we can see everything. Change it to circle. 
Um, edit the color to white. Add a, the black border so we can have what looks like a bulleted list selections. Then we go ahead and hide our labels on our headers. Um, this back a bit. Then edit our axes again. So we can get our list to be more left justified. It's two. All right. Now we can go ahead and hide this header and get rid of these grid lines here. All right, there we have it. Now we have our list of subcategories. Now the next thing that we need to do that's different from the previous um, tutorial on this is that we now need to create a new sheet. This is where we will create the all button. So we're going to call this our subcat all. So with that on, what do we, we're going to need to create a new calc here. And let's just call this the subcat um, param all function. And the calc for this is if subcategory um, parameter or not. No, so cap parameter equals all, then we're going to do a bullet, have that copied, and black bullet else um, empty filled bullet. And then we'll click end. And now that we have that created, did I say end? Sorry, click OK. And then after that, we will drag on the subcat parameter all onto our rows shelf. And then in the marks card, just double click and then we'll manually create our text field here for all. Then click label, and then we can format our bullet here. So that way it's a bit bigger and looks similar to our circles for our um, subcat list. Once we have that, then we can go in and hide that and then format to get rid of the row lines and drag all just a bit closer here and then we can also don't forget to add true and false oh, true and false onto our details mark here all right and then now that we have that built out we can go ahead and go back to our map here and then drag on our subcat true false onto the filters and then click true. And right now it's set to true because we do have a um, value that's in our parameter, which is all. So now we can proceed to create our dashboard. Let's drag on our map and our subcategory list. as well as our all button. And then with just a bit of formatting, you can try to get this to align with each other. Um, so let's maybe just fix the padding for this one a little bit. Um, five? Okay, close enough. Yeah. Uh, all right. So with that, now we need to go in and build our dashboard actions. So the first dashboard action we're going to do is for our subcategory list. So change parameter. call this our subcat um, action. This will just be our subcat list on the subcat parameter. Um, this, that will be subcat param action for our source field. Click OK. 
Then the second change parameter action we need to do is for our subcat all option. That subcat action all. We will use our subcat um, all as a source sheet, target parameter the same sort. Using subcat parameter, and then we set the source field to all. Then click OK. Then we need to create two filter um, actions, and these will be our deselection selection actions on our dashboard. So let's deselect subcat. So for this, and our subcat list, our target sheet will be our subcat list. Reduction on select, keep clearing the selection will show all values. Select fields, uh, true. Then we have false. Okay. And then one more. So every time I click on these, they don't open and then I need to do it a second time. Um, Select subcat all. The all run on select, and then subcat all. Show values. Okay. Okay. And now let's go in and test out our multi select parameter with the all button. All right, so now I just need to fix the color here. So if it's false, we want it to be white. If it's true, we want it to be black. All right. Uh, just pull this down a little so we can see all. OK, now if I click all, voila, now all of our categories are selected when we click all. But if we want to go out of it, and just focus on one of the subcategories on appliance if we want to see appliance and art. So as you can see, our multi-select um, parameter function is still working. And what's new now is that instead of having to click through all of these, we now have the ability to just select all. And now that will grab all of our categories to reflect in our data visualization. And with that, that's how you create a multiple select parameter that includes the all option. We hope that you found this video useful and easy to follow. So yeah, thank you for tuning in.